Hi, my name is Dave Larson. I'm one of the consultants in colorectal surgery here at the Mayo Clinic, and I'm talking to you today about diverticulitis. I just wanted to mention that here at the Mayo Clinic Rochester, we have many new and novel um, surgical interventions for the treatment of diverticulitis, with, of course, the goal of less pain, early recovery, and, of course, uh, a minimally invasive approach. <clears throat> Um, before we go any further, I'd like to talk to you about definitions of diverticulitis. They, of course, occur with the issue of diverticulosis, which is an outpouching of the colonic wall. Outpouchings can occur anywhere along the GI tract, however, are most commonly seen in the large intestine. Um, patients who experience diverticulitis <clears throat> um, will often uh, experience left lower quadrant pain, nausea, fever, uh, possibly even vomiting, and oftentimes diarrhea or constipation. The treatment algorithm for diverticulitis spans the gamut from medical treatment, which would be antibiotics or fiber, to surgical therapy. Uh, thankfully, most patients do not require surgical therapy. Most patients can be treated successfully with antibiotics and or fiber. Risk factors for diverticulitis include old age. Um, it also includes the lack of exercise and a low fiber diet. In terms of diagnosing yourself with diverticulitis or diverticulosis, unfortunately, if you're over the age of 40, 40 you likely have diverticulosis. Most patients, as we age, develop these outpouchings within our colon and are most commonly diagnosed during your screening colonoscopy at age 50. Diverticulitis, being an acute event, is typically diagnosed by your doctor through a physical exam or very commonly through imaging modalities, which we have here at the Mayo Clinic called CT scans or CAT scans. These images help to define the inflammatory condition within your colon and aid the surgeon in determining what surgical procedure to perform. Uh, there is no doubt that for those of you with diverticulosis, this is a treatment that, this is a disease process that is simply treated with uh, medication and diet. For those patients with diverticulitis, um, there's no doubt that you may have suffered for a period of time. You may have had recurring events uh, over the last few years, or you may have what we would call smoldering disease and continue to have pain or disability from your diverticulitis. These operative interventions include laparoscopic assisted procedures, hand assisted procedures, and robotic procedures, which are, which are all minimally invasive. These operations in general leave you with small scars, lead to little disability, and very short hospital stays, typically around three days. We have a great experience with both laparoscopic, hand-assisted, and robotic techniques here at the Mayo Clinic and have literally seen and performed thousands of operations. <clears throat>